What is your history with Hampstead Theatre? This is the third time I've worked here. The first play I did here was a play called Darwin in Malibu. And then I did 55 days, uh, myself and Mark Gatiss and a great bunch of other uh, actors. It's lovely to be back. I've worked with Rona Monroe before a few times and I always really like her writing um, and especially uh, this kind of piece of writing Scottish history she writes super super well. It was great to have her there to understand a bit more about the characters in that period of time. Once she started getting around the table and having Rona Monroe there who has this endless you know vast knowledge about Scottish history it's you know it, it really draws you in. So I think it's quite rare that you get Scottish pieces like this and that you can do in your own accent about your own country and about history of where you're from. I'd never seen any historical play that took a modern lens and a modern sensibility to have a look at one of the iconic moments in history that I imagine has always made an awful lot of women feel very uncomfortable because like so many moments in history, they're never really told from a woman's sensibility or looked at that way. History tends to be written for men by men. Well, because there's only three of us in the play, that you know, we, we never really leave the stage. I suppose I'm just looking forward to performing the whole thing and um, you know, taking on that challenge of. of being a really small cast. History sort of comes back around and I think it's important to remember that those people were real people. It's sort of like a figure of eight, things happen and they'll happen again and I think it's important just to remember to have a bit of empathy towards the people that are in power.